In today's video, we're going to talk a little bit about crafting and organizing. Hey everybody, it's Christina from Creations with Christina. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new to my channel, be sure to subscribe so you can be notified when I post new videos. And don't forget to give today's video a thumbs up. As always, everything mentioned in today's video will be linked down below in the YouTube description. Hey everybody, I hope you're doing well. I have a little bit of time off from work. I've been working for, from home for a few days right now, and I'm going to probably be doing that for another two weeks or so. Anyway, I really do hope you are all doing very well, staying healthy, and taking care of yourselves. Today, we're going to be going through my craft room. I did a little bit of work um, the first couple of days that I had off after I finished my actual work work and did a, did a little bit of organizing. I pulled out some uh, previous uh, organizational things that I had from my old craft room and then also purchased a few things, not many, uh, more to expand my storage and how I'm um, keeping my supplies. One thing that when I first redid this room and put in the cabinetry, I felt like everything needed to be in a drawer. But I found that I'm, I'm actually feeling really inspired right now. As you can see behind me, I did go ahead and put the, some things on the wall and I'm really loving that look and know that I need to get stuff out so that it's on display and I'm inspired to use it. So today we're going to take a walkthrough of some of the changes that I did in my craft room. And I'm not gonna go through every little detail and every little drawer, but I thought I would share with you some of the things that I changed and the other additions that I added as far as storage. Like I said, it's not very much, but it's a few things, and it helped me get a lot of stuff um, out of drawers and on walls where I ended up freeing up three drawers in my cabinets. So let me show you what I did. This area of my craft room was one of the areas that kind of inspired me to move things around a little bit. My built-in bookcase on the wall is where I had my ink caddies, where I stored my ink along with my cardstock. I ended up making this into, on the very top shelf where the tins are, is where I previously had my ink blending tools. Those are now the empty cases to things that I moved onto display areas that I can use for storage of other things or even use it as a craft project. The second shelf is more of my bullet journaling stuff, some family photos, and my Epson printer that before I had in a drawer. And at the very bottom, that's where my cardstock used to be. That's been moved, I'll show you where that went to. And those uh, things on the bottom shelf there are all things that I want to work on altering. My three-tier bookcase where I keep my silhouette and my Cricut Maker is still pretty much the same. I moved my six by six paper bo uh, books, my six by six paper pads onto the second shelf. And then right next to my Cricut Maker is where I keep all of the blades for my machine. And the very top is where I move my Easy Press. Right above my Easy Press machines is my big letter C that was on a pr the other wall. And I moved to here. I took down my Organize More ink pad caddy because it's it was starting to fall apart. And I had tape that was actually holding the grid in place. So I put that into retirement and moved my big C over here. And now I'm going to go ahead and show you what I did with my inks. So this area right here has become my ink storage area. These three units are by Stampin' Storage, and they're the ones that actually fit in the Calyx units. I had a Calyx unit, be, unit before I did the cabinetry in here, and I still use these because they fit perfectly in that bookcase, but I love them that they're right here. Now previously, they were like a raw wood, and I went ahead and spray painted them, finally, after having them for several years, spray painted them white, and in here is where I'm organizing my Simon Says Stamp and Hero Arts inks along with my Distress Oxide inks. The very last row are kind of the inks that I don't use very often, but I still wanted to hold on to them. Right above that, I did purchase, these are, this is one of the purchases that I made. I had this unit plus two other acrylic pieces that I used for storing my blender inks. I kept my large one because it fit perfectly on top of here, but the other two were too wide and I couldn't keep them up here. And they got repurposed into a drawer. But I did buy these two, um, this one and the one on the end. It's a smaller version of this middle one. And that held the rest of my blending tools along with my uh, Distress blending brushes. And then the other purchase I made were these lead shelves. These are like the ones from Ikea, which is what I have on my other wall, but these came from Amazon. What I did with that is because I didn't have enough room in my Calyx or my Stampin' Storage, I went ahead and 
added the shelf and then put my other uh, inks up here and I kind of mix my Simon Says Stamp and my Hero Arts. I'm just gonna keep moving right on down the wall. I'm not gonna show you like every every little detail but of just the new things that I've purchased. These units right here are nail polish holders. They're acrylic holders that actually just hook right onto the wall. They do have units that are one full piece because I only had about 16 inches from my countertop to the, the wall where it starts to slant, I purchased the individual ones. So they come in a set of six and they're perfect for your Nouveau crystal drops, your, you could put your alcohol inks in here. You could put lots of things in here. This little unit right here is just one of those little acrylic units that I actually had in my tool drawer. I took one of them out and ended up using them to store some of these kind of miscellaneous markers and then I have a little spray in the center here plus room to grow in the back there. So that's just kind of living underneath the Nouveau drops here. Previously I just had one shelf on the top here and one on the other side of the, the countertop. I went ahead and added another one. These are the shelves that I've had for quite some time that I used to keep all my sprays and stuff on in my old craft room but it's now been repurposed into this craft room and I added two more shelves. So now I have four shelves and what I'm doing with that is I'm using it to store my Distress Oxide. Down at the bottom here I have my alcohol inks in the metallics, the pearl inks, and then across the very back I have my Distress ink refills. Right underneath there I have part of my Copic collection which is uh, broken up into different color groups and kind of spread between that, so this side of my counter and on the other side. So this cup right here is a cup that I got for my son for my birthday, and in the top, in here is where I'm keeping my paintbrushes. And then I have my little frog. If you guys aren't familiar with this, this is a frog holder. It's for floral picks and doing floral arrangements, but it's a great holder for when you're taking your photos of your cards. I've had that for a long time. This acrylic container right here is by Deflecto, and it is a washi tape holder, which you uh, has it has uh, dividers in it. Let's just start at the bottom. So it has three different sections and you can line washi tape in them. But I've repurposed that because I did have washi tape in this. I repurposed it to be a different type of holder. In this section I have my Zig Clean Color Real Brush markers and I have a little bit of room over here if I wanted to add something else. In the next drawer I have my gelatos, my Faber-Castell gelatos. And in the very back is where I'm keeping my little sponges for those. And then in the top is where I have my Nouveau, some some um, glitter, but mostly it's just embellishments. And then I have a couple little random embellishments there. Moving down, I have another set of lead shelves or the river shelves or whatever Ikea calls them now. And on the top, I have the rest of my Distress Oxide inks. And then down in the bottom is where I have all of my alcohol, alcohol inks. And then underneath that is the other half of my Copic marker storage. Then right after that, sorry, the lighting over in this area is not the best. Right after that, I have another set, the uh, another set of the nail polish holders. These holders do have little ledges, edges on the side, so you can pop them in and out if you want to. They do fit roughly about thir 12, 13, depending on the size of the bottle of uh, crystal drops or whatever drops. I don't think I'd get 13 going or 12 going across on this one because of the size of the bottles. Just depends, but roughly about 12. This is the other half of my collection. I have my dream drops here, I have my stone drops, and then down in the bottom are my shimmer shimmer powders. Then this little mess right here is some things that need to be organized that I'm just waiting for another piece that I ordered to arrive, which will probably be tomorrow, so I'll do a separate video on how I'm gonna organize this stuff. And then on this wall, this is where my letter C used to hang. This is right at the very end of my workspace. And what I did was I took my mink and we are memory keepers foils, not all of them, but just a, a rainbow of colors and added them to the wall. They're just hooked in using these uh, curtain rod hooks. They're like a dollar or something a piece and I, I bought a couple so that I can actually do a display of my foils and that also is out so then it reminds me to use them. But then I can also add a couple more into in between each of the different rolls. So I might be expanding on that little area soon. One of the other areas I made some changes in is my actual work desk. And I found that the space between my desk and the wall is a perfect space to add an Alex drawer. This is one of the Alex drawers that I used to have in my craft room and then my husband used it for his office and now it's back in my craft room. So it was perfect for putting equipment in. I don't have really any crafty card um, things in here. It's all kind of office equipment 
and things for filming. So I'm not gonna go into that, but right next to that, I'm gonna show you the changes that I made to my actual work desk. This cabinet right here used to be my storage for my paper trimmer and a couple of other little kind of a printer and stuff like that. I repurposed this drawer to be my cardstock storage. So what I ended up doing was I put in a new shelf. The other shelf that I had was one of those half shelves and it didn't quite, well, it didn't make it all the way out to the front. So we ended up putting a new shelf in and drilled some holes and put some pegs in. So now I have a shelf here and I'm able to store all of my cardstock. On the top here is where I have my everyday use cardstock, the stuff I would use more off, most often. And I am still using my paper holders here that I've had on the pre previous shelving. And then on the very bottom, I have some cardstock that's like extra cardstock, specialty paper, and some other miscellaneous supplies. On the other side of my desk is one of the, my three drawer unit and these two drawers pretty much stay the same. I have my everyday use tools, but then down in the bottom is now back to being my cardstock, which is what it was before. I had moved my Copic markers in here, but I ended up moving all my cardstock. My pre-cut and pre-folded cardstock is in here. So sometimes it's better to leave things well enough alone. My last craft room organizing, I had changed this section into my half final, half uh, punch boards area, and now it is back to being all vinyl. So again, another thing where I should have just well, left well enough alone. This unit pretty much is the same. It's a mix of a whole bunch of different random supplies. This top drawer used to be kind of miscellaneous tools, and now is where I'm just uh, storing my Distress Mini inks. And what I do is I just took the Tim Holtz uh, containers and just pop the lids off and I'm using those as my sorters. So I have my distress inks and then I have my Simon Says Dip mini cubes in here as well. And then everything else pretty much is the same, my pencils and, and so on. This drawer didn't change, it's pretty much still watercoloring stuff. In this drawer, I'm kind of torn about what to do with it. Right now it's marker storage and pen storage, but I think I want to change this into something that uh, more embellishments that I have that are in storage that I probably would like to get back out into my craft room. And then this bottom drawer is became my mink storage that used to be down on the other end of my room, but it's now on this end of my room. And in here is where I keep my two mink machines and then I have all of my foiling stuff for any type of foil is in here along with, you know, my mats, my transfer sheets for my two mink machines and my metal plate for the We Are Memory Keepers magnetic plate. This area didn't get too much of a change. These two drawers are still my stamp and die storage, but this top drawer has become my embossing storage. I keep my embossing powders in here along with any little supplies that I have for embossing. And in the back, I have my flock transfer sheets by Decofoil. I have my um, Swiffer glitter cleaner uppers, which I just discovered I needed. The next section, I added back my drawer that had all of my envelopes and stuff like that. So, and then this is where some of the stuff that I had in storage came back out. Like I forgot I had this ginormous date stamp from Studio Calico. So I brought those things back. I still have my envelopes and bags and other things. And then the back here I have my, these are stampers that are good for Project Life, but you can use them for, for other things as well. This next drawer has become my tr Cricut Joy drawer. drawer. <laughs> Try to say that three times fast. I put all of my, my supplies in here for my Cricut Joy machine. And then one other change that I made on my drawers here is that this drawer has now become a second tool drawer. This is where my mink storage was before and I ended up moving the f punch boards and other uh, things. Actually, if you look at it, <laughs> this is my weird memory keepers drawer, really. But that's what I have in here is just all tools. And then my bottom drawer is my other set of tools. Last but not least is my crafting area where I sit and actually film videos and craft. Next to my desk, I, like I said, I have my Alex drawers. I have my pencil sharpener, easy access to my paper toweling. And then behind that is my microphone for filming. And then on my actual desk, I have moved my computer. It was in the corner of my workspace and I moved it right onto my desk, which has been great because I can even watch movies here if I want to. I have a bullet journal that's more for planning videos. And then of course my mouse and keypad. I have my glass mat, my Gemini Junior, my two heat guns. And then on the very end, on the very end, I have this basket. This is actually a part of a 
um, little two-tiered shelf that I had on my countertop. I took one of the baskets out and I'm using that. Well, right now I have my um, stamp chamois in here. But this is kind of video ideas or things I want to work on. So that is what I'm using here and it's just going to sit right here on the corner of my desk. If you guys have any advice on how, what to do with these markers, please share in the comments below. And then here's one last look of my workspace. And I'm really enjoying having all of this on display now. So there you go. Those are the changes I made in my craft room. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to give today's video a thumbs up and I will catch you back here next time very soon. Thanks for watching.